Okay, what else do we have to get rid of? Yeah, there's still that Streamline Plus that I can't figure out how to remove. But I guess it's not that big of a deal. Holy shit, these guys are going to have a thousand HP soon. First enemy I haven't just immediately killed. Wild. I've got eight. I could do. I could just go after him. Uh, my inventory is kind of full. There's the madness. Fusion, self repair, double energy, and there's the round. All right. Well, that's fine. I mean, an en an enemy that survives what the first round against me, they 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 deserve. They deserve a thing. Hologram, give me that. Give me that all for one business. Boop. And it's back. And we kicked ass. We go more rebound, more rebound. And I'm gonna skip Storm. I like the idea of Storm, especially with my power output, but. Uh, and it actually works really well. It's just, I don't want it to be innate. That's the problem. It being innate is an actual, like, straight-up inconvenience for me. Because it slows down my build. Same thing with a gambling chip, actually. Well, that's fine. Static discharge. Whenever you t take attack damage, channel to lightning. Not ever really going to happen anymore. Yeah, I'm just going to go max HP. Gotta get buff. Alright. Oh, there's the streamline. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, cauldron. First time I've seen that go by, but no. Where's the boot sequence? Boot sequence, get out of here. Do we have any other innate cards? We have the machine learning, but no, machine learning is kind of good. Just in case if I, just in case I ever get like off spec. I guess let's just upgrade something, and I'll I'll think about other useful things later. Uh, let's keep upgrading the madnesses so I can just use them. Enemies are starting to do enough damage that getting more max HP seems pointless. I mean, yeah, true. Okay, uh, let's see. Here are the auto shields. We want the vulnerable. The rest of this is good. Okay, so continue the vulnerable. Roll Mind Blast. Seek. Okay, so we want Seek and an all for one. All for one. More vulnerable. I think we just one shot him. Yep. First turn. Killed Timekeeper in the first turn. That doesn't happen often. What is this? Fusion Hammer. Energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer smith at rest sites. Energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer... Rest at rest sites. Uh, let's probably go fusion hammer. I'm not really smithing anyway. Otherwise, we could actually just do this. Actually, let's go with that, because that's going to heal me a shit ton. The extra energy would be nice, but I'm not even using it. I get more curses. It's interesting playing this on endless mode, because you kind of, you get to learn the limits of the game. Uh, how, how it handles pools and whatnot. I still haven't used a single, wait no, I used one compile driver. And we just got the pair, yeah, so it looks like, um... It looks like the first floor, oh, right, I took some damage there, ah, yeah, whatever. Let's get rid of dual casts, I'm never gonna use that. Hello, random shop. Crap, I don't have the money. Consume. Uh, let's see. Aggregate? Aggregate. I got 100 cards. That That's like 20 energy in just one. Nuts. Stupid inflation. I guess I gotta just save my gibbs. 
Uh, let's see. This run is crested BS Mountain. Come down the other side and then descending into pure madness. No, 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 no. We didn't... Oh, we got a writhe here. I got to get rid of that. Here already ate the writhe. Next bonfire and or shop. This run got to the top of... Of bullshit mountain. Looked at it and was like, huh. Is that it? And then just kept climbing. What it did. What is that? The useless card. It's taking up valuable space. Find the monster. Find the mo- Fight the monster. Find the monster. Get the money. Wreck their shit. Alright. Dramatic entrance. Which I don't think I've... Oh. God damn it. Just let me do dramatic entrance. I'll be fine. There we go. How long has Wander been playing this run for? Um, tonight? Three hours. I'm not sure when to stop. Like, it's really tempting to actually just stop playing uh, Slay the Spire tonight and pick this up tomorrow. Let's keep smithing cards. The holograms and stuff. I want to see a mod for this. It lets you start collecting duplicates of the relics once you have them all. Yeah. That would be really nice. Oh, right. We got to get rid of that writhe. Because that's, that's an inconvenience that I don't want to deal with. But, like, on one hand... Uh, on one hand, it's like... I don't want to... We want to toke. On one hand, I don't want to just, like, stop this run. On the other hand, it is getting kind of repetitive. But the... Yeah, I can save. That's true. Why don't we complete this last round, and then I'll save, and I'll come back to this tomorrow. Because I, I want to see how many times we can loop. How many times have we looped? I just want to see how far we can go until it becomes impossible to win. I don't know if we'll get there. Oh. Well, we had a fruit juice, but it's gone. I don't even use half my abilities at this point. Okay, I could get an Ori. No longer rest at rest sites. Now, let's grab the Ori. Okay, we get turbo or heat sinks. Chaos. Overclock, because the burn is fine. Uh, max HP. And... Recursion or max HP? Hey, what floor am I on? 200 and... Wow. Okay. And we still haven't found, like, half of the random events in this. But yeah, it's, it's interesting watching enemies' HP go up. Because it's... There are certain enemies that are just downright, like weaker as a result. Oh. It's the dagger. Money. Fire spirits. Receive a reward based on the offer. Yeah, you guys could have practically anything. Take the transmutation. I'm never going to use it. Max HP plus 10. Sweet. Relic. Receive relic. Lose jacks. We get a circle. You shit. Well, it's fine. I didn't need it anyway. Five apparition... Actually, the apparition would almost be useful. But no. Wonder when Old Man Wander is going to show up. I mean, we could just immediately go into insane rambling if we wanted to. Like the thing is, I am I am just I am just here at this point. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's keep going random. Right, to upgrade a card. Well, that Ended up being about the exact same. We go stack. Now nah, let's keep going. Hologram. Let's see, book of stabbing. Hmm. <laughs> More like the book of freaking melted. Yeah, the uh, the icons are actually getting bigger at this point, which is kind of amusing. 
Okay, we get normality. Oh, we gotta we gotta axe that one. Oh hey Sneko. You uh you're looking mighty killable right now. Mighty killable. Do you guys have anything you want me to rant about and ramble about? Because, like, we are at that point of a run where, like, I could almost just auto... auto this one. Just, like, truly zone out and s say whatever. Honestly, it's not even worth going after mid-bosses at this point. I'm just going to keep going this way for the extra strength. Uh, let's keep smithing up cards just because I can. Recycle. Does nothing. Just make up stuff. Ah. Uh, let's see. Do we get another Master of Strategy? I mean, I'm not really using it, but I'm not against using it. We just need to make sure that I have enough money so that uh, when I inevitably loop back around... Man, those charge batteries were, like, insanely helpful when we started this. Old Man Wander Grant. I don't know... The interesting thing about Old Man Wander is, like, that only comes out when I'm, like, really frustrated by something. I actually have, like, an extreme difficulty uh, coming up with what Old Man Wander would say. Um, outside of a couple of situations. Uh, usually where I get, like, really frustrated or annoyed at something. Whoopsie. Well, that's fine. Let's see. I mean, I could do... I could just grab the all for one. I guess we only get one mind blast from this. Okay, I guess let's just play the injury. Get it out of here. Care about nothing. But Dungreed adding the anti-mod. I mean, I've already kind of talked about that. Let's just... Holy shit. Oh, was that Pendib? I, I honestly can't tell. What's even, like, necessarily in my in, uh, inventory hands? Whatever. I'm just kind of in uh, random mode here. But yeah, I... I love game developers, and generally I believe they can do what they want. But I feel like punishing modders is always just the sh shittiest and dumbest thing you can possibly do uh, to your game. Like, it's just... I'm not even gonna say it's, like, development suicide. Oh, this is gonna do some damage. Uh, wow. I mean, obviously, I haven't upped my focus particularly much, but oof, damage. Let's see. Another bias cognition? Sure, why not? Let's see, transform all... All, uh... <laughs> Pandora's box has been opened. Uh, I didn't like that. Music is getting loud. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm pretty sick of this music. Let's, um... Let's turn that music off. Possibly for the rest of this series. We'll see. Uh, can I buy the, um... And seriously, not by the uh, soundtrack for this game. That's so dumb. I I would gladly shell out like 10, 15 bucks for the Unravel soundtrack, but for whatever reason, it's just it's just not ready yet. All right, far loan sales instead then. All right. Uh, let's see. We kind of want to just take the speed route up. Go near Automata. I can't actually talk over near Automata particularly well. That is some good music that is like legitimately difficult to um, to verbalize over. Just any kind of singing in general. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so when it when it comes to like uh, developers, like modders are. I'm not gonna say your lifeblood. Modders are the people that keep a game going for years after the game's over. Like, when was the last substantive update for Fallout 4? Hell, when was the last substantive update for, uh, freaking Fallout 3 or New Vegas or Obsidian or Morrowind? People have still been modding those games 
people are modding Morrowind into both Oblivion and Skyrim at this point. And, like, it always shocks me to no end when a developer is just like, Hey, uh, you know, you know what would be great? Let's abuse all this free content, uh, for, for our own, uh, gain? It's not even gain. They don't generally gain anything from it. It's just, like, this weird, like, um, it's like a kid that refuses to share, uh, in the schoolyard. It's like, what are you doing? Like, like, these people are, are literally, like, extending the lifespan of your game for potentially years, and you're saying, no? Why? There is one worse. There is something worse than, um, than what I'm coming up with, though. There are the, there are the people that will steal the mod and put it into the game. That's worse. Um, I was thinking about kind of going back to Starbound to beat it or something. Uh, or Starbound. My, like, extreme modded playthrough of Starbound. And, um... More Mind Blast. Man, I remember when Nemesis was, like, a run-ender for me. <laughs> I just steamrolled him in, like, four cards. I mean, that's true of kind of this entire run. Um, wait, the devs stole the mod and put in the anti-mod? I didn't know that they stole the Dungreed mod. I just knew that they, uh... They put in the anti-mod, which is shitty. But I hadn't heard that they stole it. Oh, that would be bad. I mean, it's it's kind of sort of their right, but like... Ugh. Fuck that. People will ask if I'm going back to Dungreed at some point, and that's a pretty solid indicator of why I probably not, won't. Yeah, they copied the code into the game that Cryoris changed. Oh, yeah, nobody nobody mentioned that one to me. Ugh, God, that's so, that's so trashy. I mean, luckily it's probably one of those roguelikes that's not going to see a resurgence. Compare that to, like, Slay the Spire, which is going to remain exceedingly popular for, I'd say, probably most of 2018. And, um... I mean, honestly, uh, I don't... No, that would be kind of tough to roll. I know you could do a DMCA if, uh, somebody stole... Hello. Uh, I know you can do a DMCA if somebody actually steals your code. Um, but modded code is a bit of a gray area, and I'm not entirely sure. Or you'd want to go with that one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's keep going with these. I'm kind of injured. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Holy shit, I just healed up to full. Let's get rid of the finesse, I guess. I mean, oh, he actually lived through it. The madman. But can he live through all for one? If I can freaking find it, where is it? I've probably gone past it at this point. Let's do all for one in Tempest. All for one. Oh, he's still alive. Tempest. <laughs> Tempest plus double energy pog champ. Yeah, but that takes longer. More echo form that I'm not going to use. Uh, uh runic dome. Yeah, runic dome. I mean, who cares? I don't see enemies. It only gets harder. Does it? Oh, what's this one? Upon pickup, obtain ten random cards. You say it gets harder, but you just gave me a substantial damage boost. Oh shit, we still haven't run into the courier rat here. Remove auto shields. You cannot use it. Uh, yeah, I can. It increases my, the damage of my mind blast by by damage. Ah, uh, god, that is trashy. But yeah, um same thing happened with uh 
The same thing actually happened with uh, Starbound. The uh, the mod, one of the or the creator of the uh, not the lead mod. Let's remove. Yeah, let's remove auto shields. It is useless. You are right about that. It just wastes space. Hey, we get the courier rat finally. All right. Uh, it's Smith. I thought I got the fortune. No, I didn't get the forge hammer. Not yet. We'll maybe get it after this run or two. Okay. So I believe I can get Dead Branch. Ginger. A motion chip, Mercury Hourglass, and I think that's every relic in the game. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we have every relic now. Oh, uh, I don't know. Magnetism? Can't get apotheosis. I mean, at this point, I am Dunsky. Alright, uh, let's see. We don't want to get rid of anything. Because bandage up. Rive. Mind blast. He is dead. Melter. Not that it helps too much. Sweeping beam. Also doesn't help too much. I mean, nothing helps at this point. I am I am too strong for my own good. Yep. He has nothing of any use for me. I'll grab fission. Uh, which... Eh, whatever. I skipped a relic. Should have done that. Um, but yeah, so the, the creator of Fracking Universe uh, straight up copied the contents of somebody else's mod into Fracking Universe, and it's just like, oh, that's that's just shitty. Like, don't do that. It's just not cool. Game design and, like, game modding and whatnot is hard enough, and dirt bags just don't belong. But Wanda was going to save and quit after he finished the round of three floors. You're right! I should probably do that. Why don't we do that? Uh, shh. This is Q&A now. Let's, um... Let's finish. What content? I think it was just, like, the the entire extent of the mod. I don't know enough about it. Um, but, like, enough people have, like, corroborated this story that I'm willing to believe them. Okay, uh, let's just go max health. I might do one more loop here. I just want to upgrade all of these cards so I don't even have to look at it. I, I want to get every relic in the game. We're so close. We're so close to having every relic at once. And honestly, it is really, really amusing to just wrecking ball my way through. Unfortunately, I think if I do another Endless Mode run, by rule, I'm banning Mind Blast. It's too good. Um, and it's it's fun, don't get me wrong, but I gotta come up with some better breaker combos. Okay. I don't need to rest at rest sites anymore. You have a lot of relics, but I don't have every relic. That's the, that's the thing you don't realize. You know what would be really nice is if you could actually click on a relic on the list, like the gambling chip, and disable it. That'd be really cool, actually, if you could be like, I don't want the effects of this. I mean, some of the relics, maybe you couldn't. Let's see, did I did I get a writhe? No, I didn't. But let's get rid of pain, because pain is actually a problem. If it ever comes to the point where... We would need it. Okay, so are you okay with the mod added to the base game? If it wasn't directly taken, the mod are accepted and the devs do it with permission. Hell yeah! That's like the most, um... That's like the most wholesome means of, uh... Of adding mod to mod content to the game. I wish more developers would do that, in fact, and like, make it actual features. Because there are some mods out there that are straight up better than the game. Like, um... Take Fallout 4, for example. Uh... There's like, I mean, there's the Horizon mod itself. I think it was the Horizon mod uh, that more or less set the whole thing. So um, I'm just going to get rid of Apotheosis. It's dead weight. Almost all of my cards are uh, are upgraded already. Uh, but I think it was the Horizon mod was the one that, that made it so... Uh, or no, Sim Settlements, not Horizon. Sorry. I'm thinking of a different thing. But the Sim Settlements thing is way, way better and way more interesting than uh, 
Fallout 4's lack of base management? Let's go here. Uh, I want to smith up madness. And then turbo and stuff. And, uh, and like, I would love to see Sim Settlements effectively end up in the next Fallout game, be it 76 or, uh, be it 76 or Fallout 5 or whatever. I'm actually kind of curious how Fallout 5 will go when we get there. If you were to disable relics, it'd have to be at rest sites. Or shops. I'd pay a pretty penny to, uh, to get rid of gambling chip at this point, just because it's an inconvenience. I think that happened with Kerbal Space Program. Uh, wait, KSH with Space Engineers. Added corner lights, parachutes, and something else. Yeah. I mean, I, I love it when developers and modders work together. Because you can get some really cool stuff. And it just feels good. I don't know. You should be scored by the amount of circlets you get on these runs. What is my strength at? I have no idea. Alright, uh, dig for circlets. What else am I gonna do? A lot of people have been asking me if I'm really excited for Fallout 76. I have actually no idea if I'm gonna like it or not. It sounds like it's actually going to be a kind of mess. I don't like, uh, I don't like PvP and it sounds like they have PvP in the game. And, like, that to me is scary. I don't... I don't like PvP. I don't... Like, a lot of people have asked over the course of this series, Hey, Wander, will you ever play Hearthstone? And my answer has generally pretty consistently been no. Uh, the reason why is because I don't like playing against other people. And I know there's that, like, dungeon crawl, but I, I don't care about the dungeon crawl either. Oh, let's grab the lizard tail. So we've still got a couple of relics here and there, but it's not much. Hey, Dono and Decca. Um... You got a regret that's snuck into the deck. I'm fine with regret. It's pain that's the pain. So honestly, everything dies in one turn anyway, because at this point my damage has outpaced anything's ability to survive uh, my first round. So it doesn't even matter. If they have no NPCs in the quest for from holotapes found around the world. See, that's actually kind of cool. I'm... I That would be interesting to me. It's just... I never want to see another human being that I don't know in Fallout 76. I want it to be a quiet, empty experience that my friends and I can doof around in for hours on end. That's what I want to do. I should probably turn this on super speed mode so we can just kind of zip past things. Okay, so yeah, we're not even getting relics from these. I'm not even using half my moves. Oh, immediately travel to the boss. Sure, why not? Hello. Hey, Donu and Dekka actually have a fair shot at surviving. I almost always kill Donu first. But screw it, I'm going for Dekka. Uh, give me that all for one. Give me that regret. Get out of here, regret. Get out of here, writhe. Oh shit, my inventory just got full. Alright, whatever. All for one. Give me that mind glass. Uh, go for the eyes. Uh, huh. Heat sinks. Electrodynamics. Pastor and Storm. We actually are going to have to go go around against Donu. I'm kind of curious how much damage he's going to do to me. But yeah, I'm really hoping they add uh, private servers to Fallout 76. Because, oh, I can't tell what he's going to do, do to me. Well, that's... I mean, that makes my life easier. <laughs> Suck it, Donu. Oh, boy, this is a really boring run at this point. I have lost interest. Hey, finally, circlet's shown up. We also get astrolabe. I'm gonna grab the white beast statue. Yeah, I have lost interest. I don't know if we'll keep going on this one or not. Um, I'm gonna leave that for later. But yeah, so if Fallout 76 lets me kind of play with my own friends and nobody else, perfect. If I have to worry about griefers, no.
<laughs> no, I don't think I'm going to enjoy that that much. Honestly, Fallout 76, if they allow mods, the first week or two of Fallout 76 might be kind of fun. And then you'll come back in like, I want to say four months, and then the game gets amazing. Keep going until all relics. We're like right there, man. What do you guys think? Go until I have every relic in the game? Or just say screw it because I'm bored? Because I, I could switch games. I could play a little bit of Warframe before I go to bed or something. Let's see what it gives me at the very least. Oh, ten more cards. I could just let something kill me. You know what? Let's let something kill me. Hello, cultist. Time to die. Let's see, go to floor 300. All right, fine, we can do floor 300. And then we'll, we'll die. I'm just gonna start skipping skipping rewards at some point we'll, we'll just do 300 and then that'll that'll be it this will take a while no 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 just floor floor 300 we're we're at 297 right now I'm just I'm just gonna go to that mid boss <laughs> requires upgradable cards. Hello. Oh, it's Gremlin Knob. Sweet. This will be easy. If this guy does damage, I believe. I hope. Kill me. Okay, so what we want to do is play every skill we can get. I could just kill him with Tempest already. Holy shit. Uh, let's grab a reboot. Ah, huh. he kind of sucks. All right, whatever. Madness. Amplify. Hologram. Writhe. Writhe. Deep breath. Defrag. Glacier. Genetic algorithm. Decay. Defrags. God damn, if I kill him because I'm trying to buff his strength up, I'm going to laugh. Non-stop. Alright, rainbow. There we go. Alright, so I buffed his strength up by 20. He did I mean that was that was 98 damage to me. Yeah, this is this is probably possible. Uh, let's just skip some of these. He's at half health, though. Well, I guess I'm at half health. We pro we're probably fine. It just really depends on uh, what we run into here. Okay, there we go. Defrag is a power, not a skill. Yeah, but it lets me draw extra things. Uh, we didn't do any damage to him. That sucks. Alright, hologram. Double hologram. Give me a deep breath. And that steam barrier. Mm. Sweet steam barriers. Recycle the all for one. Aggregate. Fusion. Uh, let's see. Seek. Get me double energy and... Where's the other double energy? We might as well double double energy. Might as well get a little silly with some of these things. Fission! Orb slots! Oh, it's going to take him a while to get through that, isn't he? Well, it's his problem. And ours to some degree. Ah, no, he he actually got straight through all that armor. Good for him. I'm impressed. Alright, give me the recycle. Give me that um Deep Breath. Recycle. Swift uh Swift Strike. Deep Breath. If Hello World, I can amplify. We can double Hello World for extra gubs. 
Aggregate for a bunch of energy. Defrag doesn't really give me anything terribly interesting. And, oh, Leap. Leap is a defense. And uh, let's grab Creative AI. I healed. How did I heal? I'm not clear on that one. I do not want to do darkness because it has a chance of killing him. All right, give me more double double energy. All right, there we go. I'm dying slow. Let's see. Maybe I'll get the Let's consume twice. In fact, skim for more garbage. Consume again for more garbage. Um, yeah, I could just utterly destroy him, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, let's let's grab the uh. More aggregate. I've always felt like I don't have enough energy in life. I'm kind of a tired dude, and I don't know why. And it sucks. Let's grab deep breath again. How long do we have? What else can I do? Not much, honestly. Uh, skip this. Look at my energy. I'm aware. And I got killed. Alright. Bosses slain. Four 14,000 points. That's... That's a really high score. But also that was really boring. You could have reinforced body for like 3,000 block. Oh yeah, no, I could have been, I could have been largely untouchable. I could have tempested him back all the way to Mount Olympus and then threw it and down to Hades or something. I don't know, whatever. That was a really freaking satisfying run though. <laughs> uh, and also the uh, first what, six episodes of Slay the Spire Endless Mode? Hope people are enjoying this. I had fun. I'll do it once with every character and then probably just shelve it again or something. Uh, you know, kind of beat it with every one of them. We could do um, Ascension Mode, but I don't even know if you can do Ascension, like if you can upgrade Ascension on Endless. Who cares? Okay, apparently I should record this because... Ah, <gasps> oh, really? That's 300? Huh. That's cute. Yeah, I want to I wanna do this again at some point. If some people can add some mods to this, uh, I would absolutely love to uh, see what would happen if you could, like, double up on some of these and, and so on and so forth. That'd be kind of fun. It's actually kind of laggy looking at this screen. Like, it, it doesn't perform well. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That is fun. Anyway.